So we found some pieces of bronze armor. Some chunks. Some, some niblets. You're muted, Sean. Really? <laughs> yeah, you really Motherfucker, are. I've been talking. I was like, man, it sure is damn quiet. I was saying, uh... <laughs> Since we're here chilling, would anyone like to do anything? Healing. I'd like to heal everyone who needs it. Okay, well, we need other people's input for that. Would anyone like to do anything that doesn't require input from others? Um, I would like to investigate the armor. Okay. Just want to take a closer look at it. No, I don't. Actually, I'm stricken blind by the armor. <laughs> you go up and pick up the armor and try to drag it, or you try to pick it up, and it falls in the stream and washes away. <laughs> my my hand convulses and, like, I have a seizure, and it just jabs into my eye. It's gone now. <laughs> oh, fuck. Are you sure you want to investigate anything else? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to pick up a different piece and try to investigate that. Okay, well, you, you grabbed... Okay, so the first one you grabbed was the breastplate off the dwarven skeleton. Okay. You picked it up, the skeleton fell to pieces, and then the piece of harness wrapping that you grabbed just broke and fell into the water. Uh, you go and grab the, the helmet that fell off it, and it looks very... It looks ancient. Like, it looks like an incredibly old piece of armor that has been buried in this stream bed for not decades, but centuries. Okay. Definitely not usable, though. Definitely not usable. Hmm. Wonder if a uh, collector Unless you want would... less protection. I'm gonna stick it in my bag. Are you I'm gonna stick it inside a baby mimic? Or is it just a mimic? I'm gonna ram it into baby mimic and see what he's like. What do you think, baby Put it mimic? in his mouth. I praise this for me, baby mimic. <laughs> he, he looks up at you with this puzzled look, like he has no idea what you're talking about. Does he? Well, well did he eat it? No. Mm. Actually, he tried to bite it. And it hurt his teeth. He's crying now. <laughs> he has t he has Aww. little tears coming off his eyes. Sorry, baby mimic. All right, I'll just put it in the back then. Now we have a wailing child in an echo cavern. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it's screeching, making a horrible wailing noise. Wait, wait. Does that bring the drow back? <laughs> it does not. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's like they're obviously weak. There's someone crying. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> So I was, I was telling Scott before we started how y'all knocked out six rooms 
in one session last week. <laughs> we did we did pile through. And we've been in this room all- for <laughs> two hours. Two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but to be fair, it was a pretty lengthy encounter with a lot of hit points, a lot of critters. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff going on. There was a lot of constitution saves and death saves. <laughs> last minute, oh my god, wait, do I have this? <laughs> we just turned the volume way up on our output by the last. Alright. And thankfully we didn't die. And thankfully we didn't die. I'm amazed. I thought it was going bad. Yeah, those uh, spiders were doling out some massive damage every turn. Yeah. Doling. Yeah, they were. So, uh, what, is, what does the party want to do? Jeff has already tossed some pieces of armor into the water. My <laughs> zero investigation. I, I, I want to go find Gundren and chase after him, but at first, we're all in dire need of healing. I can see us all limping and Breathing heavy and. <laughs> Alright, Grep, come over here, you first. <laughs> it's it like, bend over and assume the position, Grep. <laughs> Are we all just lined up like Navy guys with our pants <laughs> waiting for the shot? What's happening? <laughs> Everybody strip and line up against the wall, so never get healing. <laughs> oh, this is proper paladin healing magic. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna feel a slight pinch. <laughs> Just don't sense up. <laughs> oh, that's fine. oh my gosh. No, how much healing do you have before? I mean, I have 20 lay on hand points. Sorry, metagaming. Um, can you heal us? Can you heal the party um, comfortably? With uh um, without needing a shorter, long nap in between. Don't know. I guess it depends on how lucky you get. But with the, with the lay on hands, I can I can definitely heal somebody's wounds straight up. Alrighty. What I'm doing with my hands. I'm I'm getting it warmed up. Getting the paddles ready. Yeah. Let's do that. I believe grep 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 is most hurt. Come on, grep. Yep. So can I just? Claim that I'm safely climbing up and not have to make that check. I'm gonna reach my hand down to Brett and help him up. Yeah, so Brett's standing on Smokey's shoulders <laughs> and then reaching for for uh, Numi. Uh, there we go. Okay, yeah, you roll with advantage on your ac- or your athletics check. I don't know how I can roll double advantage. I think only <laughs> one. Actually, can more than one person help? No. Oh. I like the book. <laughs> so yeah, uh, roll with advantage on your athletics check. Sixteen is fine. All right, so Grep's up, and Grep has fifty feet of rope that he's going to tie around Numi's waist and then chuck the spare end down into the ravine to help people climb up. An excellent idea. There you go. So yep. now Numi is offering help to anyone who wants to climb up. All right, climb, climb. Pew, pew. I need a I need a smoking and I need a Attila athletics check. Okay. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, that ain't good. Do I need to cast Featherfall again? Who it's was, a cantrip. You already cast it, Featherfall. How long does Featherfall last? One minute. Okay, one minute has come and passed. Okay, so I'm so, gonna need to cast that again. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna need to take one d6 falling damage. He's going to recast Feather I was gonna, Yeah, oh, it's oh. a cantrip. I can do it okay, as much so as I want. You're going to cast it while you're falling. No, Smokeen was falling. Smokeen is falling. <laughs> oh, Smokeen is falling. I thought uh, I thought Tila was falling. Okay, so yeah, you cast it on Smokeen, and she lightly hits the ground again. Maybe cast it on yourself, too, before you even attempt. <laughs> that will so, make the ascent easier anyway, I would think. 17. Is it Whoever rolled 17 or... is up now. Yes, I think it's. Yay, we all made it up the wall. Yay. No, I think Tila right. still has to. I, yeah, I haven't rolled yet. I'm trying to find athletics. Oh, there it is. Can you cast Featherfall on yourself? As a reaction, if I start falling, I will. Oh, you don't <laughs> want to just cast it on yourself blindly? Or as a, a preparation? 
I don't know that I can do it as a preparation. I thought it was just a reaction. But yes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and lock that better. If you're out of combat, you have extreme leeway on when you cast spells. She done did. Sorry. Um, did it go through? Is it not showing through? Yeah. There we go. Ooh. All right, you try to climb up and you slowly fall to the ground. <laughs> Would you like to try again? I guess, I guess I'll try that again. <laughs> there you we go. Rocket. I've never seen someone <laughs> climb so well. Like, so after falling on my ass and face planting, I, I skyrocket over this right. thing. You you get down and do a handstand and climb up backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like JK, y'all. <laughs> it's like I'm a pro. No need, to, no need to clap. Everything's great. Everything's great. And everyone yeah. is up top now. It was epic. It was epic. I've never seen someone climb up something upside down. Whoop, whoop. So what's the plan, party? What y'all want to do? Uh, heal, healinate the people. Because as far as I know, we just got back up here. Uh, did you heal up, Grip? No. I believe. Let's, I, let's lay some hands on Grip. Grip. I believe that the Dragon Man has asked you to assume the position. <laughs> fifteen sound. <laughs> fifteen sound. <laughs> fifteen. All right, Grip healed for fifteen. What? What? All right. Cannot see you anymore, Jeff. Yeah, you gone. <laughs> All right, and then um, <clears throat> who else needs healing? I am at a uh, less. I mean, I I am very very in need of healing. <laughs> I'm gonna throw five at you. All right. It's a love. It's like a light tap instead of the. Uh... No, yeah, he full just goes for one boob, not both boobs, just yeah. one. Like you full on groped, grab. But Tila just yeah, gets Ranger, a little light petting. Ranger has some healing abilities too, right? I think hmm? she, I think Smokeen used it to heal someone already. Did she? I don't know. Yes, yeah, Smokeen used healing grab during the battle or right after. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. All right. How much does that do? 1d8. And I don't see it. So Is whatever. that sufficient? Big old no, two. It's definitely not sufficient. <laughs> it is spell, 1d8 it's plus your spellcasting modifier. What's so, your spellcasting modifier? It is my spellcasting <laughs> Good questions. Five. No, that's Christmas. Three. So, so five. So that's better than nothing. You don't have any of your spells on your uh, attacks. I sure don't. I thought I did, though. I swear I've, I've clicked that before. Okay, but... we are both looking at your character sheet at this point. I'm going to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself again. Okay. Sounds like a lot more typing this time. <laughs> for the same results. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm not dying now. And then... Who else needs healing? I'm good. Smoking has cure wounds on smoking. <laughs> it's a big old three. Three. I love that y'all are using your spell slots so amazingly. Well, what what choice do we have? I guess we could do another long rest. Like, I, I am absolutely on board with using your spell slots this way. It's just, it's just the rolls are so awful. 
They're shit. Yeah. It's always, so, they're always yeah. shit. <laughs> the rules have not been going our way tonight. <laughs> All right, so Smoking conjures 10 magical berries. Each berry restores one hit point. Okay. Um, she's going to eat two of them. Grep's going to eat three of them. You said you're good. I could use some more, but I just didn't want to take any more. Just berries? Else. Yeah, in a pinch. Okay. <laughs> I know they um, talk about two of them, and Numi's going to get three of them. Delicious. All right. So that's what she's got, and she's out of spell slots at this point. Oh, so we should have just done <laughs> if she can't do it. Should what? I guess she doesn't even want a spell slot. She's not going to come back spell so now. Alrighty then. How's everybody feeling? So how's everyone Do feeling? You all feeling twenty-ish percentage? Yeah. About, yeah. About fifty percentage ish. Yeah. Right. Everyone feel nice. Good now. Well, as you can tell, uh, south of you is a bunch of uh, bugbear corpses. Nope. Actually, uh, oh. you look over and you see a bunch of corpses of bugbears piled up ne neatly. Smokeen wants to scout ahead and see if she can figure out where these drought have gone off to. Okay. And uh, she wants to do so exceptionally stealthily. Okay. I'm, I'm glad that she's excited about being extra sneaky. Um, I wonder how sneaky she can be. So, is she going to go off on her own, or is she going to have the party follow along, or don't worry about it? Okay. Um, Grep's going to follow just slightly behind. Okay. So, as you, are you going, yeah, you're going up those stairs? Yes. Okay. Uh, as you approach the stairs, uh, you don't really see anything of note. Don't worry, I'll let you know when you need to make a stealth roll. Uh, you get to the top of the stairs, and you see the bend. Still, you don't hear anything. You can keep going. Uh, right here, you... Uh, let me see what you see. You see a... A hallway with stairs leading upwards and a door to the right at the top of the stairs. And okay. And what appears to be a bigger open room directly in front of you, up the stairs. Okay. Oh, that's really annoying. My, I can't I can't see what my NPCs see. I just have to assume. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, yeah, as you climb the stairs... You don't really see anything. You is the door to... on my... Is the door to the north open? It is shut. Shut, okay. You do hear, uh, as you come up the stairs, you hear two figures, or you, you hear the sounds of what appears to be two people arguing. Can I tell roughly where, where it's coming from? Uh, yeah, you can tell that it's coming from down the hall to the north. Okay. You can't see them, but you can hear bickering in a language you're unfamiliar with. Actually, does Smokeen understand drow? Smokeen knows common, dorvish, and elvish. All right, she doesn't know drow. Yeah. All right. At this point, I have a glimpse at Gundren. Mm -hmm. You can see Do that I... from where you are. You can see that the uh, one of the drow is holding up Gundren to his person with a knife to his neck as he is 
talking to the other drow. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back and report that to the group. Okay. So Smokeen says that uh, <laughs> Smokeen says that that unarmed dwarf is up there still being held hostage. There appears to be at least two drow. One of them got a knife to uh, to the dwarf's chest. Or sorry, to the dwarf's throat. <laughs> All right. Gundren still held hostage in two drow. Did you recognize either of the drow from the encounter we just had? I don't know. Did I recognize either of the drow? Uh, you wouldn't. You wouldn't have been able to see them that closely. Okay. Okay. So, for all we know, this could be the same two that we just encountered, or it could be a completely different two. That got That's a fair two. assumption. I mean, they've got Gundren up there, so it's probably the same two we just encountered a minute ago. I assume, but... Or, a this whole place could be, like, teeming with drow everywhere. Teeming. Behind every stalactite. Might. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what are we mm -hmm. going to do, guys? I say we go for Gundren. It's a good question, but yeah, I agree. Well, if we're going to go for Gundren, then I want to say a, a quick blessing from hmm. the group. So we got a little bit of divine, you know, favor protection going on there. Lost Clay's video feed, by the way. Yeah, he. I don't know, his camera turned off. He turned it off. No, it didn't. It's on. Oh, it just died. Oh, it just popped up for. Nope, it died on me here. It's been on. I don't know. I don't know. His feet just... It's not showing for some reason on everybody else, but it's showing on his screen. I see He's back! I can see him! Alright, let's hear what this divine blessing is. I'm excited to hear about it. You bless up to three creatures of your choice within range. You gotta bless. Is everyone gonna uh, grab hands and sing like a... Kumbaya, my lord! <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping no. for the uh, Grinch song. <laughs> no. Okay, so Jeff's going to wave his hands around on each one. Ooh. Making ghost sounds. Ooh. That's, the, <laughs> what, that's the, what I'm doing in character. What the fuck church did you go to? <laughs> Where did you learn this paladin magic? <laughs> I've got a snake in one hand and a dagger in the other, and I'm, I'm shaking them around wildly at everyone. <laughs> Um, whipping a snake around. I'm yes. laughing you with the snake. <laughs> is yes. the snake's name Bad Dragon? <laughs> the snake's name is Baby Mimic. Oh, no. Nice. I'm rubbing Baby Mimic on everyone. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to bless Grep, Smoking, okay. and D Davril. Because uh, I feel like we would benefit the most with the yeah. I, I'm sorry. I, uh, what does what does this blessing do? Uh, whenever you make an attack or saving throw, you can roll a d4 and add the number to your attack roll. Is this a cantrip? No, it is my last spell slot. Okay. And you target. It. Okay, so yeah. it only lasts a minute. After you cast, I'm assuming y'all are running. To engage. So, yeah, we're getting. I mean, we're going for it, right? Yeah. Is that what we're doing? Let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cast mage armor on myself. Okay. So, mage armor just ups my um, AC by okay. to uh, 13 plus my dex mod, and the spell ends if I put armor on or if I dismiss the spell. Okay. Well, everyone's running after the blessing of the mage armor, so they capitalize. On your uh, your buffs, I'm assuming. So we're buff. Yeah, we're buff. My, for all intents and purposes, my buff is permanent until okay. one so of two things happens. So we're trying to take advantage of the blessing right now. 
Okay, yeah. And as Jeff stealthily moves forward, not stealthily. I'll stay back. Stealthy characters go first. I mean, this time is of the essence if you want to use this blessing. <sighs> what? Come on, guys. Got, you, got, you got a minute. <laughs> Do you want Here me to go. run in? This, this spell literally lasts 60 seconds, and you've wasted... I don't know how much you've wasted. It's crap. Are we going to go in firing? I don't know. Grep is not going to shoot. Uh, Smokeen's going to run in with an arrow knock and just let loose. All right, well, okay. this is it. Danielle has first in the turn order anyway, so we're going to maintain the same turn order from, turn order from last time. Oh, come <laughs> on. I know, it sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so she's going to shoot the one to the east. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. You don't need to do that. We got a hostage. She, uh, One of them is holding up Gundren as basically a shield right in front of him. Yeah. If you take a shot at the one to the west, Gundren is likely to be hit. And he is wounded. Does the 15 hit the one to the east? Good question. It does. And it hurts him. Is he the glove hand one? He's still wearing the gloves? He is wearing gloves. He has what appears to be bronze gauntlets on. Okay. Um... Next up and is the, uh, the magician. Uh, he appears to be... Sorry, what? Move over to there. Okay. She's going to use her move action to get out of range, or to get further away. I only see four people on the map. Um, as... Okay. Uh, the... The Mr. Magic Man. That's what we're going to call him. Mr. Magic Man. He's like, hey, if we're not going to play night, what did, how did he sound? Oh, like that? Oh. Yeah. He sounded like a he sounded like a Nazi. Oh, Nazis. Yes. Very. Yes. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. If you can't <laughs> play nice, I'm going to blast you. And then he whips out his uh, umbrella. He's got a knife to Gundren's throat right here in front of him, his umbrella in his other hand. He rears back and shoots a spell at the direction of the party. And let's see what he's got. He's got a good spell that he can just wreck y'all's day with, I'm sure. I don't know what any of this shit does. Well, when in doubt, use magic missile. You're right. When in doubt, use magic missile. He fires magic missile at Grep. And he's got another level two. Uh, he deals 15 damage to Grep with magic missile. 15? Jesus. Yeah, but when I cast level two magic missile, everything that rolls for one. Yeah, yes. like six. So next up <laughs> is Grep. You want to go, guy? You want to go? Uh, Grep's going to ready in action. Should one of my allies move within five feet of either of the drow, he will attack with both hands. Okay. The, uh, The boxing drow is going to one, two, three, run up to Smokeen, who put a arrow in him, and punch her in the face with his metal gauntlets. For that's a 13? That misses. Okay. 
and he's going to punch her again. That's not eight. nice. For what? An eight. Also misses. Yeah. I really should look at their character sheets. Apparently he has multi-attack. Oh no. Who has multi-attack? The guy with the gloves? Yeah. Seems like a monk kind of character. Jeff, you're up. So he's still got a knife to Gundren's throat, right? He does. And you feel the rage building. The hammer wants okay. to fight Drow. I'm going to run up and grapple this one. You're going to grapple him? I'm going to grapple him. Okay, so he's got Gundren in front of him, and you're going to try to grapple the Drow while the Drow's grappling Gundren? Yeah. yeah. Okay, how much movement do you have? 30. I'm definitely within range of that from right there. Okay, so you're going to move into range, and you're going to try to maneuver behind him. He's, he's basically yeah. facing you right now. Okay. I'm, like, I'm trying to figure out how you would grapple someone that's already grappling someone else, and they're using them as a human shield in front of you. Or okay, fine. I won't grapple him. I'll smash him with the Warhammer then. This might hit Gungeon. Well, maybe. I didn't know I needed to know Gungeon's AC. That's good. Okay. okay. What, the first one, that's a 10? Yeah. Okay. It's a miss. That's a, that's a hit on Gundren. Uh, roll again for... Uh, roll again, or... Let's deal damage to Gundren first. See if he goes unconscious. You're going to roll a 20. Well, I wanted to grapple. How about I tackle him instead? Can I smash into him from the side? Yeah, that you was... want you, well, yeah, like I... a shoulder tackle into the ground? Yeah, like hit the drow. I mean, hell, I'll knock them both down was kind of the thought. But gra I didn't really see... I was trying to do a quick search, and I didn't see anything for tackle, so grapple was like the next best thing. I feel like we could use shove for this. I could sprint at it and then use part of my unused action to just plow into both of them. Well, I'm, I'm looking for shove. Yeah. I'll shove Players have 195. Knocking, attempt to knock it prone or push it away from you. The target must be no more than one size larger than you. When you reach, instead of making an attack roll, you make a strength check contested by the target's strength. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. You're going to try to shoulder tackle into, uh, into the drow and Gundren to try to free Gundren from the drow. And yeah, that was you're kind of the idea. You're going to do that with an acrobatics check, and he's going to contest it with a dexterity check to dodge it. What? That's, how, so, that's how shove works. The target chooses the ability. Okay, so I'm going to do my strength, right? Right. Before this happens, yes. he's within five feet, and the second he came within five feet, Grep was going to unloose some arrows. Okay. You might hit... Gundren with those arrows. Yes. You you find this acceptable? Yeah. I don't okay. think he will with the blessing, though. I think his arrows will fly straight and true. Okay, so... Well, I have to figure out how to miss friendly targets? There's got to be something about hitting hostages. So my assumption would be that you use the, uh, the cover rules, and if I miss the target, then I'm going to hit Gundren. However, that one rolled a 24. So, so unless it's... I like action. this. I like this. So if you hit... So mm. basically it gives cover, or it gives full cover to the character. Okay. And... You can still hit. If you don't hit with full cover, it hits 
the uh, the cover or the target. Does that sound fair? No. No? Two reasons. One, Gundren's a dwarf and this is a drow. There's no way you can get entirely behind a dwarf as a drow. Oh, that's a good point. And two, a target total cover can't be targeted directly by an attacker spell. Okay, so perhaps 75% cover. How much is cover? There's like different ranges of it. Uh, a target with three quarters cover has plus five bonus to AC. Yeah. A uh, portcullis, an arrow slit, or a thick tree trunk, whereas half cover would be like a low wall or furniture. Oh my god, is Gundren furniture? I'd say he's closer to a low wall than an arrow Yeah, I think he's closer to furniture. Okay, so he gets... As Gundren is a dwarf, and this is a drow, I think that's half cover. So he gets, All right. plus, he gets plus two to AC. And you have yep. a 20. Let's, how much armor does he got? I rolled a 24 because we still have the blessing. Which adds a D4 or adds 4? Adds a D4. Okay, so 20 plus D4. It doesn't matter. He's got a little, He's only got 13. Okay. So that hits. I love for a drow. For 8 piercing. Okay. He, take a, he takes a bolt in the shoulder. He's like, the fuck, man? I'm holding a hostage. Add 25 is also a hit for 5 more damage. He, uh... He takes another bolt in the other shoulder, and he falls to his knees, still grappling Gundren. And now he's at three-quarter cover. Wow. And then Didn't I plow into him with my 22 strength check. So what? And then yeah. I plow into him with my 22 strength check. Okay. And since he's on his knees, he's at disadvantage for his his check. Dexterity check. So you rolled a 22 on your strength. Holy shit. He's about to fucking die, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Oh, what's his dexterity? Oh, he would have rolled a 20, but because it's disadvantage, he rolled a 13. So you knock Gundren away from him. Gundren <laughs> falls to the ground, and you both fall to the ground. I think y'all are both prone from a tackle. Sure. That's fine. I did like a dragon, like, side kind of like spear. Like a... I'm just imagining a football tackle. Is that not right? <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, like, but that means I'm on top of him then. If I did a football tackle, Would, if like you if can I be grab on him top like of this him? and I and I slammed him on the ground, if I'm on the ground, I'm probably on top of him. Or I could, I guess, I could have like barreled over him. I think you barreled over him. him. I don't want to yeah, have to put your tile on top of his tile. Okay. <laughs> that, that makes it's it just, difficult to move the pieces. Gross. You guys fucked up by separating them too much. Alright, so Pikey, you're up next. Alright, since these motherfuckers are apparently intelligent. You want really? to stab them with your hug. I, w I would really like to to aggressively hug them with my sword. Is that a thing? That can is absolutely that? a thing. I think you can aggressively hug anyone you want. Especially with a sword. <laughs> yeah. That's 30 feet of movement is going to put me right here. See, um, I have one, too. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Dicky, you get. <laughs> um, press the wrong button. Can I roll with advantage since he's flanked? And he's prone. He's prone, so you roll with advantage for that. Either way, yes. <laughs> you, so you want to skewer him while he's on the ground. I'm, please I don't kill me! Please! Like, please don't kill me! Is that what he says? Yes. That would be lovely. Please right. don't kill me! <sighs> well, he's dead. Does that hit? <laughs> Just like... What's, what's high score mean? <laughs> what's high score <laughs> mean? Uh, he's dead. You, I aggressively uh, hug him. To you aggressively hug him right until his head comes off and right. rolls away. Yeah. It's like Lenny and that, that poor puppy. And he's down. And Jeff? 
All right, it is a bunny. Your hammer feels an overwhelming <laughs> sense of joy. Do I regain that points? emanates from you, or emanates to you? Do I gain something from this? Do I get a boon? I don't know. Try to hit something with it and see. Sweet. Scott, you're up. You're going to take away Jeff's only chance to hit something with a happy hammer? Crush the monk dragon. Yes. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna cast Witch Bolt on the one in front of uh, Smokeen. Witch Bolt. Witch Bolt? The fuck does that do? All right. Hang on a second, and I will show you. Dun, 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 dun. Spell card. Oh shit. A beam of crackling blue energy glances out. Make a range oh. spell attack. Okay, make your range spell attack. It's gonna miss, I know it. Don't say that. Let's, you don't let me anything. change it back to attack. Hang on. <laughs> 17. Oh, shit. That's a hit. Mm -hmm. All right, so ha this is how it works. It's going to do 1d12 damage now. As long as I concentrate on the spell, every round he automatically takes the damage as long as I sustain the spell. For up to one minute. Up to one minute. Okay, so 1d12. 12. Holy motherfucker. <laughs> Finally, some good holes. He, uh, you send this... Is it crackling? A beam of crackling blue energy lances out towards a creature within range, so forming a light. sustained arc of lightning between you and the target. So you blast him with lightning. On, and on each of your turns for the duration, you can use your action to deal 1d12 of lightning damage to the target automatically. So, next round, he takes another 1d12. He probably won't be alive that long. He's just going down. <laughs> Uh, next. So, yeah, he took 12 damage, and he is shocked, literally and <laughs> metaphorically. <laughs> next up is Smokeen. Um, give me one second. I'm looking at her weapons. You need to do anything other than stab him. <laughs> Charm animal. I, I believe the preferred nomenclature is a savvy hug. <laughs> yes. You take your sword like this, and you just fall into him. <laughs> Aggressively hugged with a sword. <laughs> don't worry, I'm trying to help you. You've got too much blood in here. We need to let some of it out. Bad blood. You don't need that. Yeah. All right. She's gonna hit with her long sword. Okay. That's a hit. That's a dead man. All right. No. Dead dead. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if she has an offhand or not, then. Nope. Uh, as you strike him through the chip or across the chest and he takes damage, his disguise fails. He falls to the ground. It was Gundren all along. <laughs> oh. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Hold on. So what actually happened? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm trying to reveal it. Don't worry. Sorry. Can I show that? Do y'all see that? Oh, uh, doppelganger. doppelganger. Uh, that draw was a doppelganger. But not the other one. Not the other one. Wait, okay, which one was the doppelganger? The one that was holding Gundren or the one that was not? The one that was uh, fisticuffing. Okay. He was a doppelganger, but the other one was a drow. Yes. Did I show you just the character, the whole character sheet? No, we just have the bio and info for it. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. Okay. It says double. Are, okay, yeah. We know that there are two doppelgangers now. Yes. And that we just killed one of them. But I don't know that for certain. In character. Uh, I would ignore that part because I don't know where another doppelganger is. I don't think there is one. Well, it just says that there's another one in the employee of the organization, so yeah, it can be anywhere that that both and both use drow disguises. So I say we frisk them. Yeah, let's uh let's search these bodies, see what sort of fun stuff we can have. Absolutely, yeah, drow always have magic shit. So we'll start with the doppelganger. 
The doppelganger had some very interesting bronze gloves. Yep. Um. Oh, y'all are gonna have to figure out what the gloves do. Uh, Mr. Unnamed Magic Man. What did he have? I bet it was really cool too. He had that umbrella. He had an umbrella on him that he was using to cast spells with. Hmm. And as you search the rest of the room. Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Magic Man also had a uh, potion of healing on him. There's only one Magic Man, and this is not him. I'm sorry. Mr. Drow Magic Man. There you go. Potion of healing. A, an umbrella that he was using to funnel his magic through. And the doppelganger had some fancy gloves. Oh, and uh, the magic man also had a key. A key, you say? Drow doppelganger had the gloves. He also had a, uh, there was also a sack in the corner of the room. Would you like to peruse this sack, or would you like to leave it be? Let's poke through it. Pokey poke. All right. What you, could uh, wrong? you stab it with your sword, poking. <laughs> and uh, it splits a hole, and 565 gold pieces come flying out. Okay. Five, six, five, body left four. That is a hundred and forty one each. It's a sweet score. And another hundred and forty one gold? Yes. We're in eighteen? Nineteen. Okay. Um also, you're in this room. What else do you see? There's stuff going on. Uh in this room you see six cracked marble pillars that line the walls. These are those pillars. Are they cracked in a uniform fashion? They are not. They are cracked because they are old. Uh, at the north end stands a nine foot tall statue of a dwarf seated on a throne. That's this thing right here. Uh, a mighty stone war hammer across his lap. Large green Large emeralds gleam in the statue's eyes. The dust and debris covering the floor has been swept to one side, and a campsite of sorts now appears in front of the statue. Uh, half a dozen bedrolls and packs are neatly arranged around a rough-built fire pit, a wooden table. There's no wooden table. The wooden table was out in the uh, other place. The other room. The yeah, previous the room. yeah the, where they were using cover. So so, sorry, did you say if, if that war hammer was part of the statue, or is it an actual war hammer? It's a stone war hammer, part of the statue. Okay, and two mm -hmm. two green gems in the eyes. Yes. Can you describe the bedrolls to us? Are they all humanoid size, or some of them bugbear size? They're humanoid and bugbear size. All right, so we killed some bugbears, and we killed some humanoids, and Gundren's still here. Is he okay, by the way? He's unconscious. Yeah, let's try to stabilize him. Yes, please. We do. We do have that potion of healing that was on the on the drow. Oh yeah. Are we scared to use it, or should we go for it? Is that our best option to heal him at this time? Well, it was specifically stated as a potion of healing, so. The issue is not if it can heal; it's if it's the best option with which to do that job. Okay. Do we have well, any can, left? can anybody else heal? I know. I don't think so. Which makes it the best option. Yeah, I can't heal. Yeah, and I'm out. I can't do anything with me a medicine check, can I? You could try you to stabilize, stabilize him, but that would not awaken him. Okay. I mean, I can do a medicine check as well. Let's all medicine him. <laughs> I promise, if you fail to bandaid him with five people. 
he will probably die. <laughs> well, let's just pour the uh, healing. Okay. Rise, Jeff, you managed to stabilize him. <laughs> you have a but minus one but... to medicine, and you just jump on him. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna heal him with the potion. Numi comes forward. Dragon man, stabilize. <laughs> okay. Um, let's still use the potion of healing as well, even though he's yeah. stabilized. So that was two d four plus two, I believe. Was well, yeah. you, We had a lesser healing potion. So what does this one do? Actually, that's yeah. Is this a cure medium? A, a lesser. <laughs> A potion of healing that does 2d4 plus 2 hit points. Okay, so it's a cure light wounds. Who will administer the potion? Who picked the potion up? Who shall administer it? I didn't rifle either of the bodies. Uh, sure. Smokeen did. Okay, so Smokeen is going to apply uh, the potion come on. to Gundry. Somebody should be able somebody that can role play. I, you can't have Danielle's character role play it, and she's not here. <laughs> well, Brett okay, well, would not have taken the loot, and because it was shiny. Smoking's the only other one that I have control of. Okay, All right, but well, then I'll, you know I'll what? take. I give a shit about Gundren. I'll do it. That's not slash do roll. It. What two D four plus two? Two D four plus two. Yep, sorry, two D four plus two. That would be great if it was two D eight. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was thinking. One, one, plus two. All right. Of course, critical failure on one of them. Okay, you right. administer seven healing magic. His eyes flutter open, looking at Tila. And he's like, the, am I back at the... What is that strip club called? <laughs> Fallatio Forest. <laughs> am I back at the Fallatio Forest? The fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, hon, but your first dance is free. We're getting you out oh. of here. I mean, he's been he's been held hostage for what months now. Yeah, yeah. So the thing is, Grip is really tired and could totally snuggle up in one of these bugbear campsites. Yeah. Uh, let's see if this room is is moderately safe. Um, well, I, there is a room past the stairwell when we came in that we didn't check. Yeah, that's the seeing if it's safe. Yeah. yeah. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's it's God. Ah. Are you just leaving? Are, are two of y'all just wandering off while Gundren is... I'm, I'm staying and, with uh, Gundren. Okay. Numi and, Numi and I will go and check the other room. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you approach the door. Gonna listen. Gonna use my ear holes. Use your ear holes to roll a perception check. Or I'm oh, just kidding. You've investigated the door. It is a door, definitely. <laughs> it has a lock on it. As you listen in to the door with a lock on it, you hear nothing. I'm going to kick that bitch open. Okay. Give me a strength check. Yeah. Blow it off the hinges. <laughs> <clears throat> the door splinters. The door splinters, and then who who looted uh Mr. Drow Magic Man's body? I think Smokeen did all the looting. Okay, and after you blow it off the hinges, Smokeen runs up, says, "I have a key." Yep. <laughs> I wondered what that key did. I thought I was going to open the double doors on the south side of the room. And uh, as you enter the room, ooh, what's in here? Dusty draperies adorn the walls, which also contain uh, the walls of the room, which also contains a bed and a torch. A that's it. It's not a lich. No, this is an empty room that used. It look. You can see that uh, the the bed has been used, but there's no one in here. There's nothing in here. It was the drow's bedroom. Can you unlock the room so I can see it? Oh, I guess I would... I don't have to unlock it. You blew the door off of it. I have to delete There's the no door. door. <laughs> a, a wall of invisible force keeps me from passing through. Don't worry. I'll fix that for you. Hopefully I don't delete you. 
there must be something really juicy in here for there to be such powerful magic preventing me from going inside. There's not. Can, we, can we flip the bed and I'll light it on fire with a firebolt? You absolutely can. As you go in there, dr- or Gunner's like, don't put me back in there. Oh, so this is where they were keeping the gun. All right, I'm going to go back to the main chamber. I'm going to look inside of the pot. Is there anything in the pot? That's a torch. You can feel uh, that it used to be warm, but the fire was put out. Okay. All right. So All we right. inspect that room. Safe. Maybe don't kick open doors because we're trying to make a defensible position, and open doors don't actually qualify as that. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, we could have used that, that locked door. <laughs> I could have rested in there. Maybe could have dragged some of the bed rolls in and, and like shacked up in the locked room. Oh well, what could have been? It's not every day you get to crit on a strength check, though. <laughs> it's like knock knock, <laughs> motherfucker. Alrighty then. All right, maybe I'll quit bumbling around smashing. Is bags. there anything? Can we use the bunk bags to you know? pile up at the door to keep ourselves semi-safe, at least give us an alarm system if somebody sneaks up on us in this room. Smokey's going to check this southern door. Can she hear or otherwise sense anything in the room beyond? Uh, like, give me a pure- perception check. Perception. Uh, she doesn't appear. She does not hear anything through the door. Uh, does it appear to be locked? Can it we like not exactly appear to be locked? She didn't hear anything though. Can we open this door? Just appear through it? Mm. Sure, go for it. I can't. You have to. Oh. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> I don't like dynamic lighting anymore. You uh, crack open the door. All right. And it just appears to go to a hallway. I'm going to close that door again. Okay, I'm going to leave it You're open. You're going to splinter it? <laughs> no. Um, which way does it open? Does it open inwards or outwards? Uh, for you, it is a pull door. Okay, so since Numi broke the last door, I say he has to sleep his big ass against it as a door stop. <laughs> yeah, I'll curl up in front of it. <laughs> How much do you weigh, Numi? <laughs> With all your armor. Okay. Do you sleep well, in your armor? armor? I could. I mean do I am you, a dragon. Typically? Man. I don't have I don't have chafing problems like humanoids do. I mean, do you have like dragon jammies? Dragon jammies. <laughs> it's a onesie shaped like a human. <laughs> <laughs> it's made of human skin. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> I was, I was hoping it was like pajamas patterned with bad dragon on him. Okay. I'm trying to find out how much do I weigh? Description: 275 pounds. So that's yeah, a pretty heavy ass doorstop. You're probably a good doorstop. And then if you count, if I sleep in my armor, that's also pretty damn heavy. That's like another 55 pounds. Do you feel well rested after you sleep in your armor, though? I'm a dragon man, probably. Probably. Covered in scales. What? All right. So it seems to be fairly safe in here. We've cleared through the dungeon and our dire need of healing. I think that we should take a short rest and let Stephanie play us the song of her people. I would love to do that. You weren't fast enough. You were too damn slow. A healing melody, straight from from the abyss. So, what is the, the healing mountain. melody of uh, of Pikey's people? When you take a short rest and spend a healing die, you can roll an extra one d six for healing die you spend. Yes. I'm aware of that. I'm curious what the actual song is. Oh, Pint, pints of Guinness makes you strong. Gundra knows this song. <laughs> 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 I, I think I think Grefg's gonna gonna pull it up for us, but it is definitely pints of Guinness makes you strong. <laughs> As you start playing the song, Grep feels 
a warmth in his body that he has not felt before, and he starts crying. <laughs> I could <laughs> usually use a drink. Well, we, we tried that, but our DM said the cask of ale were all empty when we got there last time, so... Mine's been yeah. closed for centuries. Of course, there's no ale. <laughs> can, I, can, I roll a die to, can I roll a die to see if Baby Mimic vomits up a uh, casket of ale? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm curious Maybe. what you put in. Mm, yeah, go for it. You roll, oh, no, 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 no. Not, not roll a d20. Roll, <laughs> d, roll a d100. If you roll a 100... Nah, roll a ninety to hundred. You get a. Uh, you can have a casket of ale from Baby Mimic. What? He burps up lame. <laughs> Again. God damn it, Baby Mimic! Be useful. Pull your weight, Baby. Mimic. We have a surprise visitor. Hi. Oh my Hello. gosh. Your character is dead. Friends playing, so I'm just gonna listen to you guys play for. <laughs> oh. Well, Smokey died. Super dead. Yeah, but Grep ate her, so it's not a big deal. And then whatever Grep threw up, we fed to Baby Mimic. It's totally yeah. fine. But but the moral of the story <laughs> is that you know we've got all the pieces, so we can get a cleric to put you back together when we get to town. It's totally cool. I could be zombie smoking. Yeah. No, no. We'll get over age from the dead. We can uh, we can invoke the Adventurers League rule of faction charity and get you resurrected <laughs> as long as we can get your body back to town. Oh Are y'all still playing, or have you wrapped up? No, we're still playing. Cool. I'm not in your theater or anything. Um. So. Yeah. Uh, it is eleven we... o'clock. Yeah, I would, I would, I would like to rest, or, or we can call it for a minute. It's a good stopping point, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, do you want to go ahead and do the short rest real quick? Like, just roll the dice, get it out of the way. Sure. And... Oh wait, 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 wait! We'd have to do the random encounter check. Let's not. Let's not do Let's the short rest not. until we come back. Okay. Right. Well, we've had two fairly hard encounters. We shouldn't have too hard of a time resting. Yeah, who knows? I think we've pretty thoroughly wrecked everything in the dungeon, except for the uh, the, the the beholder over there. Wow, so, the, the beholder's running around. Uh, you left some corpses of some dead bugbears back in the hallway. Yep. Yep. Not bugbears. <laughs> beep, beep. I think I heard D say something, but I don't know what it was. It kind of died out. Did I hear y'all <laughs> say that y'all fought a beholder? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the beholder We're... is still back there in that room. There, it's not a beholder, it's a spectator. Well, yeah. Yes. Which is like a lesser beholder, basically. Either way, Smokey mistook it for a human and just went bonsai, so that's where that's why she died. Oh, okay. Actually, that makes I didn't know that your chosen race for hunting things was human? Why are you a human no, hunter? No, no, not human. Humanoids. No, it says humans. Yep. Uh, that, well, I don't actually use that that often. I use... um. My, I actually keep my D and D Beyond, and then I just use my rolls for that. <laughs> and it's humanoid. I swear, it's humanoid. And then I think mm -hmm. the thing is, it can't be humanoid. It has to be humans or a specific. Race. Yeah, if you pick humanoids, you have to pick two specific races, and you have I human dwarf, <laughs> which is two specific races of humanoid. <laughs> Hold on, let me look at my character sheet. You went into a drop down menu. You made this decision. Yeah. <laughs> like, I knew you were racist, but really? <laughs> like, yeah, no, I told you my character was racist. Straight up, just like human hunting elf. 
You know what? There's a, there's a difference between slightly racist and my favorite enemy is humans. Hold on. I have to. I'm pulling up my character sheet because this can't be right. I, Human, I the other, other white wrong. meat. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you. In her treehouse. I don't like playing StarCraft with Karina's level of racism to <laughs> I'm going to drive a car into Charlottesville protester racism. <laughs> it's kind of on that second bit. The decision was made. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> be great here. Any human. Sildar's <laughs> got another thing waiting for him in town. Sildar's going to have an armed guard now. <laughs> Silver doesn't know this shit. <laughs> he knows there's some animosity there. There is. You, Sildar is a bit of an asshole, though. To be fair. I mean, you're not wrong, but <laughs> he's he's not the asshole that says, you know what? I don't like this guy. I'm gonna kill him. All right, so. <laughs> In the D&D chat, I just posted her character sheet in case anyone else wants to look at this just god-awful <laughs> racism. <laughs> Hold on. Let me find it on the other thing. Oh, my God. I don't have access to the other thing. I've got to click the buttons on this one. This one says <laughs> favorite enemy human. I don't know how to find favorite enemy on this like weird little... <laughs> The, the phone app. There's a there's a phone app. Oh, what are you looking at? Roll twenty or D and D Beyond. But I don't know where I put what my favorite favorite enemies are. I'm probably going to use another like four or five of those sheets, but it's easier to write on the deck. <laughs> you just look where you fucking at. Like this so is awesome. under under. Oh, apparently I did UA. play humans as one of my enemies. Hold on, we done told you that. <laughs> Racism confirmed. Arcana. Confirmed. Hold on, let me screenshot this. And I'll send you what it shows me. <laughs> it's so it's at least like very not humans. actively designed. She has a human skin jacket. Back in her, uh, back in her treehouse. It says human orcs and dwarvish. Yeah, yeah. I hey, no, okay, but if you look on it, what I did was I clicked on humanoids, which means that it just like selected those three. No, it means that you picked those three. Humans and orcs are your favorite enemies, and the language that you spoke or that you picked to speak was dwarvish. So you were like, fuck these guys, fuck these guys. I'm bros with the dwarves. I I'm bros. To them. So at least she's not been defecating on the corpses we've been finding in here. <laughs> That's true. How do you feel about uh, bugbears? <laughs> I didn't mean to make her that racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that level of racism just comes natural to you? <laughs> You're like, yeah. You're not allowed to patrol the south side anymore, do you? <laughs> I'll say I am a cop in the south. What do you expect? <laughs> it had to rub off eventually. Okay, so based on this information, no more, okay, no, I, no other races, I, only humans for the rest of the campaign. I will Please. say... Hey, you can get uh, orcs too. I will say, though, that... I, I know I had something in my. I'm pretty sure I wasn't sober when I made that character sheet, but <laughs> I, think, I think what I was going for was I have like my character really doesn't like, and I'm sorry about this, Scott. I hate human wizards. I like and sorcerers. I don't trust them, and I think that's why I chose them. Like and that. I've saved your ass so many times now. Yeah, he really did. <laughs> Who are you? You made it in somehow. You're my token human friend. All <laughs> right. I'll take it. I'll and take it. Make it better. <laughs> you can just Is call me token. Inside of you. <laughs> You're that guy. Does it count, Scott? You're not your character's not really even human, is he? Well, <laughs> he doesn't know that. <laughs> he thinks he's human. 
<laughs> I guess oh, it's no. not helping my case. <laughs> not at all. We we've had we we had this discussion, Sean. I need to go And if back anybody and else is confused, minute. just just read my character bio. I think this but my is character a great turning point. Smoking starts to like humans because of you and then finds out you're not one. And then I end up like, fuck a, this shit, kill everybody. I end up, I end up being a magical a construct the whole round. time. <laughs> this is where no. he's decided to be. <laughs> On my keyboard. Why not? <laughs> it's warm. <laughs> And you're paying attention to it, so you must pay attention to him. Hey, um, Scott. Yo. I made you a new ter character token. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> the token wizard. He needs a wizard He's hat. Got a wizard hat. Yeah, that's what I said. Can you make token from the uh, the the RPG Stick of Death or whatever Stick of Destiny? That's Probably. I feel like that's a thing. <laughs> I feel like that's a thing. Okay, well, my friend got off his game, so I'm going to go and not ignore them now. Okay, see you later. Thanks for talking. Okay, Bye. Bye. <laughs> so, when do we want to do the thing again? Well, next Monday is Christmas Eve, so I'm assuming that's not happening. No. Yeah. I'm down for that, whatever. I mean, I'd be fine for the Sunday before, but, I mean, that's up to y'all. The 23rd? Uh, the Sunday before I can't do because that's my squad's. Okay. I have, a, I have a, a family Christmas party on Sunday, so that's not happening. My schedule is wide the fuck open until next year, so. Yeah, I don't care. All right, really. so, so Sean, we're going to do it next Sunday, and Clay is going to run the entire party. <laughs> That went quite well, actually. <laughs> so. And I swear I'll quit missing as many games, and you know I won't try and die again. <laughs> you, you have a legitimate excuse. Happens. I think the next game should be on the twenty seventh or the twenty eighth. Uh, is that twenty seventh would probably would be best for me. And what even, days of the week are that? Like That's even the then, I don't know. Like you're next, not sure. Next week is gonna be tough. It's it's gonna be uh yeah. I mean, if we have to wait till to it, it doesn't happen till that next next you know Monday. Well, well, here's the thing: is the next two Mondays are holidays. Oh, basically, yeah, that is holidays. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Monday is the thirty first. Yeah. I think as many of us can should get together and do a real person game on. So, so D, that means you're driving up here, right? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. I thought you were all going to drive out here. Yeah, road trip it. <laughs> it would take all of my vacation to get out there and back. Yeah. Right? It took us six weeks just to get out here, but I think you can do it faster <laughs> if you don't spend, like, three weeks in Detroit watching hockey games. And getting drunk off your ass in your family face. <laughs> Jesus Christ, where are we? I mean... If you're gonna take that long, that's a good way of doing. It. <laughs> One bad. <laughs> if we want to do an in-person something, like now is the time to figure it out while I'm on vacation. Yeah, I'd be down for that. Just uh... I'll make a special trip. If I need well, to. <laughs> the only problem is that either someone would have to come get me, or you would have to come to Columbus, which I have lots of room in Columbus. <laughs> get your boyfriend to bring you. He can play too. Don't make him take you in the WRX. I hear that's a horrible <laughs> transportation device for road trips. It's the 86. <laughs> Only the next day. <laughs> because with me, you, Scott, and Jeff, there's only three players in a DM. Yeah, but you guys can video chat us in. That's right, yeah. true. Issue with that. Well, I mean... Ooh, Unless you're just like, fuck you, if you're not here, you don't exist. I don't know how to play the game without a computer, actually. It's, it's no, it's, 
basically no different. The only the only thing would be doing the map stuff. Yeah. So. I mean, um, we could do it in person with computers. Like everyone has. A oh, laptop. everyone has yeah. a laptop, and we're all looking at the screens instead of each other. We yeah. did that. We, we did that for you. We did that for you realms on our very first game. And it was well, stupid. That was a dumb yeah. way to play that game. Yeah. And then Sohil's laptop was burning up and blowing up the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, if if you guys, if someone between all three of you has one laptop there and you can stream it to us, you guys can play physically, and I mean, just tell us the numbers and we can report it. And so. We'll, roll still through the game so basically what you can do sean is go to you know office max or office depot and get one of those large ease like large like presentation kind of notepad things you know the big ones you get one of those and uh you just have it on a table and while you brought you broadcast this out to to uh clay and pikey you know just to kind of have a map lightly drawn on that have, so we're construction paper anyway that works too <laughs> just something to draw on i have a bunch of dungeon tiles also hey there you go there's board games and i have like three three copies of the 3.5 uh beginner set which comes with a bunch of map stuff and i have a bunch of uh, <laughs> little miniatures and stuff too yeah there you go that's all we need I have a full party's worth of the, uh, two full parties worth of the actual, like, character. If we Jeff like is the resource a, man. If we would like to do a semi-in-person event of this campaign, mm -hmm. let's figure that out and figure out where we're going to do it. Yeah. And when we're going to do it. Because mm. we'll next, be next week... <laughs> <laughs> Next week is like gonna be. I'm afraid next week, all of next week is gonna be a wash. Yeah, it probably the next two weeks. Well honestly, be. till next year. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we could just do like a mini session, like a single shot, like one room kind of thing, going, so we don't have a big gap. Yeah, because usually when we play, we play for about three or so hours. Yeah. We could just kind of try to slam out like just play an hour or just play uh one full round of combat yeah just yeah. to get a little bit of progress in there as long as it's after four i'm good any day for your time oh, sorry for our time uh yeah yeah so seven o'clock here after um, yeah that and that works that works for me because i don't get off work until 6 p.m here so yeah, i'm like i tentatively target the 27th yeah, yeah let's go ahead and just yeah, and if anything happens, it's just it happens. It's holidays. Yeah, just keep up with Discord, and and we'll figure out if things change. Keep yeah. uh, if if big schedule changes, just highlight the whole group so that we're all alerted. Yeah. Okay, I will confer with my manager and see if that day is fine <laughs> with me. Wait, which day are we talking about now? Because I'm confused. the twenty seventh. Okay. But it'll be online or in person. Both. I mean, obviously, <laughs> it'll be both, kinda. We don't have an option, so yeah. whatever. Well, well, at the least, at the least, Sean, Jeff, and I can come to you. <laughs> I was gonna say that's a Thursday, so I might be able to get Joe take me. No. So, at the very least, we'll be keeping my child awake as I make voices in the living room. <laughs> yes. Or you can, or we can go down to Columbus. That's that's hard for me to do with Nathan. I mean, come on. We've never. Even it's hard for me to do without kids to go to Columbus. So <laughs> the question is, do you even want to go back to Columbus? No, that's why it's hard. <laughs> I mean, I I could be I could be ready by six p.m. y'all's time if that changes anything. I, Okay. Might run a bit late, but I mean, I I can make that. So running early is harder for me. Oh, early. Oh, I thought you meant later was can, harder for you. I can if do we, later. If we do Thursday, if we do Thursday, any time after six p.m., I'm fine. Yeah, any time after that, it doesn't matter how late it is for me. After that, that's just the earliest I could be there.
There we go. That's a better wizard. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm going to turn off the recording because <laughs> I don't know why I'm still recording. Bye-bye, internet. <laughs> Bye.